Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be looking at a code that allows us to increase or decrease counter value by clicking on buttons. Let's dive into the code and you see how it works. First of all, I will create two files index.html and script.js. So let's start writing HTML code. I will use exclamatory mark to write HTML root element which contain the head and body elements. Inside the head element we have meta tags that define the character set and viewport settings for the page. Inside body element we have main element which contains app UI. I will create a div inside main element class container. I will use heading h1 Pen element ID value. I will create another div for buttons. Button container. I will create three buttons. increase button reset button and decrease button class button decrease button class button reset class button increase now i will use script element script to include javascript file let's change the title to counter and that's it from HTML. in javascript code first of all i will set initial value of counter to zero let count equals zero Next, I will select counter values and buttons using document.querySelector and document.querySelector all methods. Constant values document.querySelector value constant button equals document dot query selector all dot button difference between query selector and query selector all is query selector selects the first element that matches a specified css selector meanwhile query selector all selects all elements that matches the 
CSS, uh, specified CSS selectors. Now I will loop through buttons and add a click even listener to them. Now I will use for each to check when button is clicked. We check its class list to determine whether it's increase, decrease, or reset. Buttons dot for each function button here I will add even listener button dot add even listener click when an event is triggered, the event object contains information about the event including the target element that mm. triggered the event. In this case, e.currentTarget refers to the element that event listener is attached to the button. The class list property is an array like object that contains the class names of the element. If else statement if it's the decrease button we decrease counter by one if it's increase button we increment if style start contains is decrease we decrement the value by count minus minus else if styles dot contains is increase we increment the value by using plus sign else count equals zero and finally we will update the counter value on screen by setting the text content of the counter element to the current value of the counter value dot text content is equal to count and that's it this code allows us to dynamically update a counter value on the screen by clicking on buttons let's have a look is it working fine or not decrease increase reset it's working fine you can see that's it from today's video thank you for watching